All right, good day, everybody. It's gonna be talking to you about um, this custom kit I made for my 9-bot Max, just to be powered on, 3D printed um, lenses uh, with NeoPixels inside and a microcontroller, so um, I can pretty much make these LEDs do uh, any color I want and any kind of sequence I want. Um, the just so you know, this original fender usually goes about that far down and the original uh, rear tail light is down here. And that wasn't, I bought this used and it was removed. So these are all 3D printed, um, both combination, that's clear PLA, that's clear and black, sorry, clear and black PLA. Um, so I just wanted to show you sort of the inner workings of things and sort of how I ran the wires. But basically these guys um, are just glued on. So yeah, got a pop them off if I were if I actually had to do any work on the back wheel but um, I'm willing to accept that uh, the wiring is pretty straightforward it just runs out you can barely see it, it runs out the back here uh, zip tied a long time alongside the motor wire and then up inside here and then out here and likewise this guy's wire uh, runs through here as well uh, and the tail tail light wire runs where the original tail light ran up inside and then up and around um, Everything comes into here, and this is the microcontroller unit, so I'll just try to pop that out and show you what it looks like. Kind of got limited um, movement here. Didn't plan very well. The the um, gyro is taped or stuck to the top of the, uh, or bottom of the controller, um, and uh, that uses the x-axis to monitor movement. Um, actually, it uses all three axes to monitor movement uh, through a formula but um, primarily the X shows movement, at least the way it's oriented. So I can't, sorry, annoying. You know, let me just pop this off. I can just glue it back on, or tape it back on. So that's the microcontroller unit. Um, it gets power from the controller uh, and I'll show, I'll pop up a picture of that. Um, there's different controllers for these guys. Um, in my case, <clears throat> it didn't have the uh, header soldered on. Um, there, there's typically a spare header uh, that some people have used for USB charging power. Uh, it, it didn't have that so, um, soldered onto the motherboard, so I had to cut through the silicon and um, solder two leads on for a uh, five volt ground, which runs to this wire here. I can disconnect that as well when I'm programming this. Um, so that powers the whole unit. Um, this whole thing is very low draw. I think it's probably less than 150 milliamp, milliamps uh, when the LEDs are all on um, max brightness. So very low draw. Um, it's using a Seed Zhao microcontroller. You can barely see that here. It's a tiny guy. Um, sorry for the focus here. And then the main connectors, um, this connector here is actually for, that's a light sensor right there. 3D printed again, it's inside. Um, uh, it's inside the unit and uh, it detects light and measurement measurement value of lux and I use that to determine both how bright the LEDs are and when they sort of um, ramp up to full brightness from dim um, as night night falls so I don't have to worry about any kind of switching they just automatically they're, they're quite low during the daytime and then during the nighttime they uh, they come on bright and then there's the other connectors for the LED strips. Um, pretty simple, straightforward circuit setup. And then obviously the uh, gyro uh, unit here um, to help um, determine when the um, unit is moving. So I can actually um, essentially control that flicker or the, the blinking. Typically when it moves, it blinks. I've got to do some tweaking to the code on this guy because uh, it's obviously thinking it's moving right now, but I actually might just keep it because I think the blinking is a good idea. Anyway, that was kind of like a full roundabout. I was going to probably provide a little bit more detail and build instructions on my blog, uh, just in case somebody wants to build this. It's pretty straightforward stuff. It just, you can need to have 3D printer and the ability to, um, you know, obviously hack this stuff in and you're going to have to uh, roll the dice a little bit with the controller. 
because you do got to dig through silicone there and solder uh, to some small points uh, on the motherboard. Anyway, hope you like it. I'm probably going to be um, modifying this a bit more. I think I want to have them on um, the front wheel as well. So I'm going to probably whip up another two and have them actually just run right off the same connection that these guys run off of because I figured they just do the same thing. So um, hopefully you found that useful. Um, again, I'll post links to, um, to this video later on once I do the write-up on the blog. Um, anyway, please like and subscribe if you liked and want to hear more, okay? Thanks. Ciao.